<laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome. And I've got a big surprise for you. I've actually got beautiful Nicole Clark, who has been so active in the group. Uh, and she's going to join me tonight just to talk a little bit about her experience with the 30 days. So thank you so much for joining us. So my name is Sharon Gleason. I'm an Executive Regional Vice President and Independent Consultant with Arbon. And say hello to Nicole. We're just chatting offline a little bit about um, what you do, Nicole. So just tell everyone just really quickly a little bit about you and what you do. Uh, yes, I, I work full time. Um, I'm a marketing and um, sponsorship um, manager. So uh, lots of events and lots of sometimes late nights and unusual schedules and things like that. But um, yeah, I, I have used Arbon products for um, a couple of years now. And um, uh, every now and then I need to come back into the challenge and yeah it's been it's good for me yeah I think that's the thing isn't it you know sometimes I think we go up and down with what we're doing when it comes to our nutrition and if we can kind of even it out a little bit rather than having the big highs and lows yeah that can be you know beneficial as well so I'm guessing from what you just said Nicole with what you do like all you were just saying you sometimes you don't get home till seven o'clock so we might talk a little bit about how you've sort of navigated the program around a really busy schedule so um just for the benefit of those um who might be guests on the call really what we wanted to do was just share a little bit more about the 30 days to healthy living and beyond program nicole's going to share her experience so that you're actually hearing from someone other than me who obviously is a big lover of the program and we'll just quickly explain a little bit about how it works and Nicole will very kindly share a little bit about her story with it as well. So just super quickly, um, well, actually, I might ask you this question first, Nicole. So just tell us a little bit about why you decided um, to do the program. Why did you decide to jump in? What were you chasing? Um, it does always tend to be around January or February, but I do get to the stage where I feel like I need a bit of a reset um, and uh, life gets a bit busy towards the end of the year. And um, I think like a lot of people, you realise that you're cutting corners and um, just not as organised with, with meals and, you know, perhaps using some um, time-saving methods to open up jars or packets and things like that. So for me, it was nutrition, actually. I really wanted to get a lot more nutrition back into lunches and dinners. And not only for myself, but my family as well. I've got um, two, I've got twins. I've got 15-year-olds at home. So, um, yeah, I've found it really good to be a bit better role model, I think, uh, for a working mum, but also uh, having some great nutritious food on the table. Um, and also the benefit for me is to drop a few kilos. So definitely uh, throughout the year sometimes it get, gets a bit hard to, um, you know, eat, eat so healthy as you want to or perhaps not even get out and exercise as much. So to feel fitter and feel like you've got more energy just helps with everything else. Awesome. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I can definitely feel your pain. I've got 19 and 16. So And, and actually that's been one of the things for me. I mean, obviously I've, well, I've actually had my business for six years now. I've been using these um, products for five years. And I think that is one of the things that I've loved about the program is, you know, it teaches you different habits around food preparation and snacking and preparing meals and how to fill your plate and all that kind of thing. And for me, that was actually really important to yeah. show my girls as well. So um, awesome. All right. So just um, quickly for anyone who's watching, you know, if you are someone who struggles with energy levels, and it's amazing how many people you speak to these days who are struggling to have the energy to do all the things that they want to do, um, you know, end up working the whole week and the, the weekend is either doing housework or just crashing because, you know, you've burned out during the week. Um, maybe feeling a bit bloated, um, you know, cravings is a big one, having the blood sugar highs and lows or needing that, you know, three o'clock pick me up, whether that's coffee or sugar or whatever it is, um, not sleeping particularly well. And I think a really big one is that whole yo-yo dieting thing where, you know, we find, yep, we'll go really good for a while and then we, you know, crash and then we have to pick up again so really being able to actually flatten out that whole process rather than having the big ups and downs um, I think a really big one these days and I'll be interested in your thoughts on this Nicole is there's so much information out there about food and it can be really confusing for people actually knowing what to eat um, a lot of people say like what do I eat like it is confusing because you hear about keto and paleo and vegan and vegetarian all different sorts of ways of life so yeah. people can get a little bit overwhelmed um, about what to eat. Is that something that you kind of have struggled with? And I'd love to hear your thoughts yeah. about whether it's helped at all with that. Yeah, definitely. I, I've tried just about everything out there um, in different times, uh, whether it be, you know, um, having 
um, deliveries of food so that I know what I'm eating. But of course, that's really hard to do when you've got a family. Um, and also because you want to, you know, there's no point preparing their food and then also eating something separate yourself. So mm. I love the fact that I can get back into just preparing something that we can all eat. And sometimes it's tweaking it a little bit. I, I might have a, a slightly different side to them um, for one of the main meals, but it really, it's so much easier. Um, and yeah, I get really confused between, you know, should I just go sugar-free this week or should I um, go for on a fasting, you know, fasting type diet? So in a way, I think this, what I've found, especially this time as well, is it just really takes me back to the basics of just clean eating and um, extra fruit and veg in my day, which is really good. So Yeah, awesome. And I mean, I think that's the thing is that it, it's really about helping people create those healthy habits that you can maintain, you know, well and truly after the program as well. Mm -hmm. Nicole, was there anything that you were worried about or any sort of hesitations that you had before you started the program? You know, something you said you've done everything. Was there anything that you were worried about when you decided to do it? Yes, I, I think, um, you know, we, you have to be really honest with yourself as to the sorts of things that, you know, you might find a little hard. And I definitely fall into the category of if I get too tired or it's too late in the evening or I get home extra late. And if it is past seven, um, it can be really hard sometimes to just quickly make those meals. Although I found it a lot easier this time. I've really, I don't know whether it's because I just focused on a couple of different new recipe items. I didn't follow every single recipe that was in the book. And I know it's not meant to be that way, but that was one of my little tips actually is to just choose those couple of things and then add it to something you're already doing. Um, and then that doesn't overwhelm you too much. You don't feel like you have to create something brand new every time uh, for I dinner. So, yeah, yeah, I just, I think being organized, I, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised at how organised I have been in the last 30 days and I've just sort of made that effort to cut up the fruit and veg when I buy it on the weekend and just always have a salad bowl in the fridge and, and that way even if you're running late you can still throw, um, you know, a cup of brown rice and some salad and, um, yeah, avocado or something in, in your work bag and you've still, you're still on the program. You're still, um, you know, meeting the, the challenge um, requirements so it's good yeah. awesome yeah. um i love what you're saying there because to be honest a lot of it is actually about mindset it is actually making that decision that i'm going to to do this and i'm going to find a way because there's no silver bullet unfortunately um mm. so it is a little bit about deciding that i'm going to do it properly and if you if you do, like you said like maybe just picking a few recipes and mastering them like i know for me when i try something new the first time I reckon the second time I make it, it takes me half the time because I know yeah. exactly what I need. Like even before I, because I was doing this and some other things tonight, I actually have already got my, the meal that I'm making half cooked because I knew that, you know, I was doing this. So it's just finding that little bit of time to do it so that it makes things easier. But the recipe, I, I knew exactly what to go and get out of my pantry in the fridge because I've made it that many times that it's quick. So I love that. It's a great tip is not trying to make lots of different meals. And I always say to people, make extras so you've got leftovers um, or, yeah. you know, particularly for people maybe if you don't have a family, I'll often say to people who live on their own, like, just cook two meals. Monday night, yeah. you know, mm. cook. Tuesday night, have the leftovers from Monday night or, or if you want to mix it up, Tuesday night, make another meal and then, you know, you've got Monday night's leftovers on Wednesday and Tuesday night's on Thursday. So just thinking about little things like that I think is um, really key as well. So... Awesome. Yes. All right. So just for the benefit of the people who are watching, um, you know, the program is really about having more energy. This is not a weight loss program. I mean, obviously, if you've got excess, you know, kilos to that you want to shed, it will help you to do that. But it is a lot about a lot more other things. I know for me, um, you know, for me, it was actually more boosting my nutrition and the quick and easy factor. And I love the energy, but it wasn't definitely, it's never been about weight loss for me. So um, it was more for energy. It was feeling less bloated. It definitely was about helping me get my cravings under control. I was a big three o'clock yeah. coffee and sugar person. Um, I definitely know that I, I wake up feeling a lot more energized in the morning. And I, I used to weigh myself every day. I have gone months because I don't need to worry about it anymore because I have really found a way of eating where I don't need to worry. And I can still eat pizza and have a gin and tonic on a Friday night and not worry about that because overall what I'm doing is good and that's such a 
you know, a wonderful feeling for people who have had struggles is being able to find a way that you can keep going. This is not about 30 days. It's 30 days to healthy living and beyond. So, Nicole, the challenge mm. now is actually, you know, being able to take what you've learned and, and keep on doing it and making it an important part of who you are as well as just yeah. something that you've done for the last 30 days. So what sort of changes would you say that you've noticed? So we're at day 29. So what have you noticed yeah. in the nine days that you've been doing the program? Um, um, uh, I know I've mentioned dinners quite a bit, lunches. Um, sometimes I would just, if I was too rushed in the morning, I'd just grab whatever once I got to work or... To be honest, often when I was making sandwiches for my kids or, you know, helping them with breakfast, it's just so easy to reach for the white bread all the time. I, I'm one of these people that always used to have three different types of bread in the house, one for me and one for my others. And, and in the end, it gets expensive and you throw it out a lot. There's a lot of waste. So often it was an economical reason why I would just make myself a sandwich because I knew I'd be rushed or... I already had the white bread right there. So, um, and that doesn't help me. I really need to try and reduce carbs. And um, not only does it make you feel less bloated, but um, I, I just know it sits better for me. So eating more salads is definitely something that um, I've been able to do and um, just really focusing on and, and um, trying different ones as well, but also making them for my husband. So it's, it's good for him as well. Um, especially if he has something ready to go. So I think lunches has been great with the program, but um, dinners in particular I have definitely enjoyed and my kids have. And I think I might have mentioned to Sharon, I definitely get a lot of, oh, wow, what's this? Like, you know, at the, at the dinner table, which I am really loving because um, I think I was getting a little bit too into um, just dishing up the same meals every week. So, yeah, they're enjoying the variety. Yeah, and I mean, I think that's the thing is, you know, once you find a, a meal that you know that um, everyone loves, just a little tip is like I've got a folder. I should have brought it with me, but um, I actually put them in. So I've got this pile of recipes. I make them. If they're good, they go on the make again list, so they go into the folder. If they're not so good, they just go in the bin. So I'll, I'll collect yeah. recipes out of magazines or, or, you know, other people, that, what they've shared, um, and I also put them on my phone as well. Um, so that's just a little tip too is, and then when you're thinking each week, oh, Honestly, I, it's not the grocery shopping I struggle with. It's actually deciding what to have. Once I've decided what to have, I find the rest yeah. easy. Um, so yeah, so it is helpful. The yeah. ones that you love so that you're not going, oh, I've got four weeks of meal plans and a whole recipe book with 150 recipes and what am I going to make? If you yeah. know you love that Asian chicken salad with the ginger and um, lime dressing or whatever it is, print that one off and put it in a book or take a photo of it, screenshot it, and put it in your, I've got a folder on my phone under recipes. And that way then yeah. when you go, oh, what can I make? You can quickly flick. I've got an index at the front of my folder. So it yeah. sounds like I'm really going I'm actually not. Um, because I, I just want that bit to be easy. And sometimes we just need to do things to make our lives a little bit easier. So that might be something that you can do, Nicole, is just actually put a little bank of recipes mm. together. Um, mm. And, you know, with the salads too, you know, I made a brown rice salad last week and we had it two nights in a row. Um, it's got celery yeah. and cabbage. Um, beautiful Jess shared that recipe for me and it's a really good one because yeah. I know for me like I need a bit more than just a salad because was I was that the nectarine it. one was that the nectarine photo uh, no, I, I really I enjoyed all the photos I must say for everybody um if you can just take a photo of your meals when you're making because it is exciting to see what other people are making and that's also what I've saved on my phone as well is other people's versions of foods. So even if it's a recipe I hadn't got to try yet, I've saved that so that I can go back to that if I need to. And, um, yeah, it is fun looking at other people's um, recipes <laughs> and what they're dishing up. So, yeah, it's good inspiration. It inspires you to want to make it if you go, oh, wow, Adriana's mm. you know, coconut fish or whatever looks really good. I think I might make yeah. that. Um, yeah, because that's... people often come up with other ideas um, yeah. than, you know, what's in the recipe books or whatever or, um, little shortcuts so how did you how did you find the group helped you Nicole because I mean for some people you know sometimes we just want to be doing things with other people so was being part of the group something that really helped you as yeah, well? Yeah I really enjoyed it because it's not the sort of thing um, I've got other friends that I like to share recipes with and that's great too um, but it's not the sort of thing that you would generally have the chance to talk to a lot of people about. Um, so it is it is great to just have that one closed group. I think I might have mentioned that too. I just love the fact it's a closed group. So 
you can, you know, comment and share and, and no one else needs to see it or, or know what's what's going on. But um, I have actually, you know, made a lot of recipes and then shared them with other friends not on the challenge and um, and they've all been, yeah, amazed and excited too. So they're often like, what, what other tips have you got, Nicole? Like, you know, so, <laughs> um, but I think the closed, um, yeah, the closed nature of the group and just a little bit of interaction and, you know, not, it doesn't always have to be positive. It could be something that didn't work. I think I posted one of my Mexican recipes that didn't quite work <laughs> and um, I was just a little bit too preoccupied with the kids and chatting to them and I got all the balances of spices completely wrong. So it was, yeah, it was a bit funny. Um, but yeah, generally they have all been, yeah, really good. And and so it's been nice to have, um, like you said, a couple, a, a bit of a portfolio of a couple of recipes that you can go back to each time. Um, and the support of other people in the group, I think, is what a lot of people love as well, is that opportunity to have other people who are on the same journey, which is awesome. Yeah, um, or if they found a great product or something like that too. It's good to share products as well. Yeah, definitely, especially, you know, if you found a really great alternative, something that you can buy, you know, at the supermarket, it's a healthy option. That's always um, super helpful as well. So mm -hmm. just a couple of key points about the program. It's, it's really... 30 days it's kind of an approach to everyday nutrition you probably would have already heard Nicole talking about that that's really designed to help you feel amazing and I mean sometimes we just use food to fill us up not necessarily to nourish us and I know that for me that's one thing I've really noticed since I've really embraced this program is I'm actually fueling my body with really good nutrients and not just filling it up with empty calories kind of thing um, so you focus on eating clean, whole foods. And we do, the nutritional products um, have all got a special job to do. And I'll talk through those really quickly, um, shortly. And it is about learning how to make healthier choices. And it doesn't matter what your lifestyle or your starting point. We've got options that suit everyone. It doesn't matter whether, you know, you are just starting out on a challenge, whether you're already super healthy and do lots of exercise, but you just want to go that bit further. It, this is a program that can suit everyone and as I said before it is about creating healthy habits and changes that you can take forward so that it becomes part of your lifestyle and not just kind of a 30-day thing that you then just go off and do that very next thing. So this is not a diet um, and I just want to share this with you because I think for a lot of people this can really help and I don't know if you've ever seen this um, before Nicole but what mm. often happens when people go on a diet is you know often it involves calorie cutting or doing more exercise or restrictions and so on so what happens is that we um we lose you know we do lose fat loss what happens is that when um the fat cells open up they release toxins into our bloodstream because um, our body actually holds toxins um, in the fat cells to protect our major organs so what happens is as you can see on this picture here you know mm. the person's actually lost weight but the toxins are still there. And what happens is the body goes, oh, no, you know, I've got all these toxins now floating around in my body. I need to actually put on some more fat cells to wrap them up and protect the major organs. And that's why people end up on this rebounding loop where they can't actually get to the stage where they can reach and maintain a healthy body weight. So this program is actually about removing the toxins gently. It's not like a crazy, you know, detox where you're just drinking juice and so on. It, it's gently removing the toxins and yeah you might have some detox symptoms I know on the fifth day when I'd stopped coffee I was on the floor just like kill me now kind of thing but then I felt so much better afterwards and again don't worry just because I said coffee don't hang up now <laughs> it's definitely um, you know all of that stuff we just work with you about you know what's going to suit you but what this does is because we get rid of those toxins we can actually you know melt away that excess fat and we can keep our body nice and lean because we've actually got rid of that toxic overload. And it also means then that obviously our kidneys and our liver and so on aren't working super hard to process these toxins. And, you know, toxins cause a lot of issues in our body, whether it's skin conditions, it could be gut conditions, all sorts of, you know, joint aches and pains and so on. A lot of things actually, you know, result from too many toxins in our body. So, you know, for mm. everybody, it's great to actually do a bit of a detox and get rid of those toxins. So does, is that feel a bit inspiring, Nicole? <laughs> that maybe yeah, it does. I mean, I, go back the loop. <laughs> yeah, I hadn't even mentioned even uh, in terms of um, my, you know, your mind and brain fog and things like that. And I've certainly found I don't know whether it's just work gets busy or our days and our lives get busier, but I certainly find my memory is sometimes needing a little bit of help and. 
um, yeah, certainly by um, just cutting back on things and, and just eating really healthy. It's, it is amazing how it does make, you know, you can think a lot clearer and um, make decisions clearer. And um, I've seen really improvements even in, you know, a couple of, a couple of family members as well, just from just, awesome. um, just having a bit more energy and just, you know, just a little bit more upbeat, let's say, perhaps not so I mean, much. That is a benefit is that, you know, sometimes you're the one doing it, but you actually then, you know, like you just, I love that what you just said is that you actually were able to see, you know, changes in other people in your family as well, just because they were doing, you know, because you've changed, you know, what's happening. Yeah, with you. they have no oh. choice. They've got to eat what's on the table. Yeah. So, yeah. That's, that's awesome. I love that you shared that. Um, and, yeah, actually I had a, um, a client who he's super busy. You know, he coaches a sporting team um, three nights a week. He's, you know, an accountant. I'm not sure if he's watching in the group. But, um, you know, he said, you know, he said, I really haven't been hungry. And he does a lot of exercise. We've sort of played around with how he does his. He said he feels a lot fresher in the morning. He finds he's concentrating throughout the whole day. And he's actually found it really easy. And that just an hour of meal prep on the weekend um, is actually really helping him get through. So um, so that's awesome. So that concentration thing, what you were saying, and that brain fog, like there's that saying, you know, most people have got no idea how good their body is designed to feel. It's actually really true. Um, sometimes mm -hmm. until you're out of that fog, you don't realise how foggy it was. So I've kind mm -hmm. of talked a little bit about the, the toxins, but, you know, if we don't actually get rid of them, we will end up with that rebounding and won't be able to, you know, maintain all the good gains um, and you know when you think about it we've got a lot of toxins coming into our body every single day it's often in the foods that we eat through things like artificial colors and flavors and sweeteners and preservatives and then we've got you know environmental toxins and we've also got what we're putting on our skin which is a topic for another day but you know if you think about it our bodies were never designed to break down the level of toxins that we put in so this program is really turning down that faucet stopping the toxins coming in because we're eating clean and also just trying to clean out, you know, our, our organs of elimination, so our liver, our kidneys, you know, and even our gut and everything, so that everything will just flow much more smoothly. A um, couple of ways that, you know, toxins can affect our body. I won't go through that, but, you know, if you are struggling with any of these sort of things, it might just be a sign. It could be other things, but it could also be that perhaps, you know, there is a bit of a toxic um, build-up in your body that might actually be worth clearing out. So Actually, I've just thought of one more. I've thought of one more it. thing, Sharon. I just noticed yeah. these um, heartburn. Oh my gosh, I used to really suffer with that, and now that I think about it, I don't have it. So awesome. uh, that's really and that's good. partly because of um, you know the program like settling down the bacteria in your gut, like it's you yeah. know, flooding your gut with good bacteria. That's often one of the first things that people notice. So yeah, I'm so glad that you picked that up. Of that because you might have not even really connected the dots on that one. So no, that's I hadn't thought. Well. Mm. And you know, like that's a classic, you know, people often have that and then they'll go and pop, you know, Nexium and all sorts of pills to actually manage it rather than actually getting to the root cause. So you've actually now been able to do that without having to mm. be popping pills. Yeah, really I haven't bought any now that I, I hadn't even realized that, but yep, I haven't, I haven't got it and haven't needed it. Excellent. For, yeah, this month. Mm. So double benefit one, not putting more toxins into your body with medication and two saving you money on buying medication yeah <laughs> so just quickly um this program it's not a rapid weight loss program it's not you know you're going to be weighing and measuring everything and starving or anything like that it's it really is about us figuring out what's right for you so again like when we show you a sample day it, what nicole might be doing might be very different than what the client that i just mentioned um, is doing so we we do fit it around your lifestyle because when you think about it people live very different lifestyles these days when it comes to exercise and you know people might be on the go all day in their car and so we've got to figure out okay how can we actually make this fit around you I've got lots of FIFO workers who've done this and it's just about finding a way when you really do decide you want to do something um, then you know you can figure it out with our help so it's about reprogram your body to get rid of these toxins we talked about which means that your elimination organs are going to work a lot more effectively and that's what will help with killing that brain, brain fog and that sort of thing that Nicole just talked about if your met metabolism is out because you know of maybe doing fasting or doing different things in the past it's going to help reset that really helps with balancing blood sugar and cravings that was one thing I really noticed is that something that you noticed Nicole did you notice any difference yeah. in cravings yeah, it was. And you you might remember I didn't actually have my fizz sticks didn't because of the 
the delays, right. unfortunately, with um, uh, you know, to do with COVID and also the um, transport industry, um, I didn't receive my fizz sticks in the first. I think it was five days, and I found it a little hard actually in terms of what you were saying about being hungry because I have done this program before and I never felt hungry, but I did, and I, I realised it was probably because I was missing just that extra little drink each day. Um, it just seems to quash any um, cravings you might have. It doesn't make you doesn't make you think about food so much. You just um, you're just able to enjoy the foods you are having, but you're just not craving um, sweet things. And yeah, so I, I've definitely found that um, you know doing the challenge and also using the products because they are all doing different things. Um, even the herbal teas and things, um, it's good. Um, but I noticed that was the first time I, I started it without the fizz, and I couldn't wait to get the fizz stick. So yeah. I can't imagine life without fizz. My fizz go with me wherever I am in the world. Oh, yeah, sorry. I have them in my drawer here at work, the, in my handbag, the everywhere. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Yeah, but and and as you said, like that, the products were all designed to work together to help with all of that sort of thing. But I just find naturally now I don't crave things like lollies and chocolate like I used to, which is it's a blessing because for a lot of people cravings can be can be a major challenge. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's about resetting your gut and as you heard nicole has just picked up you know even just go through going this through this that it's helped with her reflux which is awesome and also rebalancing hormones so you know those hormones that um you know are responsible for our mood and happiness so you know our serotonin which is you know 95 percent of that's 85 percent. so it's housing the lining of our gut um so it's really really important that we um, have a healthy gut so that we can have all those other hormones um, balanced as well. We teach you how to eat clean, how to have, you know, healthier alternatives and some of the sort of stuff that you might be buying off the shelf now. Um, and, yeah, as we've already talked about, it really very much is about new sustainable habits. And, Nicole, I heard you talking about, you know, white bread. It wasn't really sitting well with you. And I think that's the thing is this program does reveal foods that maybe don't, you know, work so well. Would you agree? Yes, I haven't had a sandwich for, I don't know, is it, how many days did we say? 26 days or whatever it is. But 29. I don't miss it. 29, great. Um, I don't miss it. Um, I've always had salads and um, um, things that in the house ready to put together in a lunchbox so that I, I don't have to feel like I have to have a sandwich. I think sometimes I used to find, with my work anyway, I'm terrible at sitting at the desk and eating on the go. Um, but I, you can do that with a salad too, as I'm learning. So it's not that, you know, there's no excuse there. I know a sandwich is easier, but you can actually eat salads on the go as well. Um, but I also, I think my little tip is just make things easier for yourself and um, sometimes just having things cooked or prepared the night before. So if you are using um, some rice and you've got leftover rice, I actually put it in an empty lunchbox ready for the next day. And then sometimes I don't actually add the vegetables to that until the next morning. Um, but at least it's there and it's ready to go. So I don't have to think. Um, so, and I always keep a, a salad bowl in my fridge. That's just something I've done, I think, for the last few years since the very first time I tried um, the challenge. So, um, and it's just easier. You've got cut up salad ready to go and just add it in. Um, but yeah, it, it's good to avoid the sandwiches for a change and yeah, have something different. And yeah. it's lots of flavour too, lots of flavour with the salads, lots of, Lots, lots of herbs and lemons and limes and things like that. So, and even like extra things like quinoa or brown rice, you know, to, to add a little mm. bit of roasted veggies, add a little bit more um, substance to it, I suppose, for people who might yeah, yeah, leftover sweet potato, all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. awesome. Um, thanks for those tips because um, that was actually something I was going to ask you was. Um, you know, what tips you might have for people, and what would be your top three tips that you might share with people. So that was one, maybe, you know, being prepared. Yeah, yeah. just being organised. And um, I also think the snacks are really important. Um, some people really look for a snack in the afternoon or even on the drive home from work, if that's what you're doing, or even if you are already at home. Um, and then other people look for something after dinner. Um, and I tend to be an after dinner. I just feel like it doesn't round off the evening until I've had something. So I usually try and keep things like berries or the arm, you know, handful of almonds or um, some coconut yogurt, that sort of thing, um, to have for the evenings. Um, 
But yeah, I think it's just good to be mindful and just have those snacks ready. I, I actually have almonds with me all the time at work as well, just in case. So it's just being prepared and, and having sort of knowing yourself <laughs> a little bit when you think that you yeah, might need. That. Mm. That's a really good point because a lot of this is about tuning into your own body. And I mean, even when people talk about snacking, I get I say like, why are you snacking? Is it is it because you're hungry? If you are, why? Is it maybe what, what did you eat beforehand? But is it just a habit? You know, sometimes we just do things out of habit. You know, it's mm. 3 o'clock in the afternoon, oh, I must need a snack. You know, I don't, oh, actually, I'm hungry, do I need that? Um, mm. Or the after dinner thing. And so, um, again, it's, see, see, I used to be a real sweet after dinner person, but I've, I've totally stopped that now. But, again, with this program, if you're a sweet after dinner person, one of the things that we do is when it says here eliminate or cut down the inflammatory foods, what we're going to do is we're not saying you can't eat anything sweet or anything naughty. It's saying let's swap it for something healthier. Mm. So as Nicole just said, you know, after dinner, instead of maybe having ice cream, it might be berries and some coconut yogurt or it might be some mm. yummy protein balls, which I promise you are so delicious. Yeah, it's, I need to make them. <laughs> yeah, you gotta, honestly, you've got to try some of mine and say delicious. Um mm. So, you know, it's about we're swapping. We're not just going to say, oh, you can't have all this stuff. We're going to say, how about having this instead of that? So if that helps, um, it is about eliminating and cutting down the foods that we know cause inflammation in our body, eating whole, clean food, meals and snacks. And the products have all got a special role to play. Um, with these products, you know, yes, you can go and buy protein and greens and all sorts of things from the supermarkets nowadays or, you know, other shops. But, you know, really what you want to is premium ingredients i know for me that's really important if i'm putting something extra in my body i want it to be good stuff so these are the top level ingredients they're vegan certified no gluten um dairy soy away so really good for people who might um have allergies or and you know we've got plenty of celiacs who use these products so you're really only getting you know the best purest ingredients um, from whole food sources and one of the, the things that i um really understood from having these products was you know, when something like protein is already broken down like this, it's much more easily absorbed into your bloodstream. Not like when you're eating traditional forms of protein and your body has to work really hard to break it down. So just quickly um, about the products and then we'll wrap it up. So we do incorporate um, the protein shake mix. And again, you know, like today I had the most, every day actually, when I'm at home, I love my smoothie bowls. Um, you know, it's giving me 20 grams of protein, 20, actually it's 23 vitamins and minerals protein is important for everything you know it's our cells it's our blood it's muscle growth and repair and recovery so um you know it's really really important that we're getting the right amount of protein but spread throughout the day um lots of yummy flavors there's chocolate vanilla there's now chopped mint there's a banana pancake at the moment so it's whatever coffee. you fancy what was that one <laughs> coffee, coffee yeah coffee it's i know good. i'm always scared to put too many up in case i don't they're not there. Um, and so we, we incorporate that into a smoothie and we add extras to it. It's not just powder and water. It's berries. It's spinach. It's, you know, I'll, I'll put this toasted coconut. What, what's your favourite um, protein smoothie, Nicole? Yeah, I, this time I have been using the coffee one. Um, but just, and I thought, again, knowing myself, I'm so used to having coffee in the morning, I thought this was the trick that I needed for my body. But, um, yeah, so... I haven't been too adventurous with putting too many extras in, but you can definitely throw things like spinach or coconut and things like that in it. Um, but I have also got some of the chocolate protein powder this time too. So I think a little bit of um, mint or um, raspberries, um, yep. berries and chocolate, that sort of combination would be really good. I tend to, I know you've had those amazing bowls which look really good, but I definitely am on the go. So by the time I get kids to school and I drive 45 minutes to, to work uh, each morning and evening. So I definitely love the smoothie in the car. So that's yeah. definitely, yeah. And for most that. people, I think that, you know, a lot of people that I talk to skip breakfast or they have a coffee or they have yeah. a couple of bits of toast and, you know, really, even if you're just doing the coffee with some crushed ice and water or almond milk, it's going to yeah. be so better for you than that. And in yeah. fact, the client I was just referring to said, the smoothies are getting me through much better than cereal and toast. Mm. So. And that's because, again, it's nutrients. It's not just sort of, you know, toast that just fills you up. So the superfood greens, I love that you're getting 36 fruits and veggies of all the different colours of the rainbow, which is really important as well. So your reds, blues, greens, purples, oranges and yellows. Um, 
which um, again, just, you know, very easily absorbable and you can add that into your smoothie or you can do it as a green shot. Um, mm -hmm. Gut health product, which is amazing. So that's giving you pre and probiotics and your digestive enzymes. And what that does is it actually helps your body to break down the food and get more out of it. So you're going to, again, boost that nutrient intake and also flood your gut um, with good bacteria so that you're going to help keep that, you know, gut microbiome and your gastrointestinal tract super healthy. Um, the fiber, which again, I love that. Two things I love about the fiber. One is that it's got some insoluble fiber, which those toxins to leave our body, they need something to attach to. And this product is important because it's like a sponge or a magnet for those toxins that are floating around to actually get rid of them. And the soluble fiber is good for helping, helps us to feel fuller, but it also helps to balance um, blood sugar as well. You've heard about the fizz sticks. We love these. They help increase energy levels. They help um, with alertness. They're actually proven to um, improve cognitive performance. So, you know, shift workers, um, FIFO workers, anyone who does late nights, busy mums, any of those people um, benefit from those. What's your favourite flavour, Nicole? Um, I like the orange one, the citrus one, but I have a quick tip about that because I remember the very first time I did the challenge, I could not understand what why everyone loved fizz sticks. They were horrible. They, they tasted... <laughs> really strange to me so I don't know if it's something that it takes a while for your taste buds to um, get into but it's funny this is what I I don't know if you can see this I actually put mine in a full um, litre bottle so some people can have yeah. the fizz sticks in a small glass and I did go through stages where I preferred to have it in a small glass but I definitely say to people put it in a one litre cold water and that way it's a lot more diluted so if it happens to be a flavour that you're not quite into um, you can still have it. And plus it makes you drink water anyway. So. Yes, yeah, which is great. I, I had mm. one before, I had a peach mango. Can't get that now, but that one's delightful in that ah. glass. Yeah, ah. we're all different though, hey. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. citrus, right, I've got to spot you a box of citrus fizz for being so Oh, fine. great. <laughs> um, okay, so then we've got our herbal tea, which has got, you know, some really great herbal ingredients. I've got to be honest, I'm not a huge herbal tea fan, but I love this herbal tea. Um, it's really good for helping to soothe the gut. Are you, how did you find the tea, Nicole? Yeah, I'm also not a huge tea fan, but I've definitely um, made uh, a point to have the tea after dinner and just to have it as the thing that I reach for while I'm watching a show or something rather than food. Um, so I just yes. sip on the tea instead. But it is, it's got a beautiful fragrance to it and it's really, I, I like it. I like the flavour. Mm. Uh, again, yeah. This just means I wouldn't normally go for tea, but I think I've got used to it now. So, yeah. Yeah, and it's become like your after dinner habit, which is yeah. great rather than having ice cream or chocolate or whatever. Yes. Um, and then the last product is the um, the gentle um, cleanse, which we use in the third week. We just mix that up. It's a ginger lemon drink, which is really, really good for helping to soothe and repair our digestive tract um, and also help with the muscles that kind of squeeze the food through the tract. Um, so that's nice and easy. So just to give an example of a sample day, and as I said, like not everyone's the same, but most people will have a smoothie for breakfast because it's easy. You can either add your greens and your fibre into that, which is what I do, or you can have it as a shot, um, you know, your gut health product with the, the greens. You can do it however you want to do it. Um, and then you might have a tea and a fizz stick and a healthy or a healthy snack, you know, for, for morning tea at lunch. Again, so my client, for example, because he does a lot of exercise, he has leftovers for lunch. And then he'll actually have his coffee smoothie in the afternoon as a snack. Um, I have my smoothie bowl for lunch because I love it. So everyone's different. And as you already heard, Nicole's busy and on the road. The smoothie, um, you know, bowl or something like that wouldn't work for her. So we will help you figure out what fits in your lifestyle and what sort of snacks and things that you enjoy because we are all different. We give you, you know, all the recipes are amazing, aren't they, Nicole? You've got four weeks of meal plans if you want them and recipes and shopping yeah. lists. Well, there's a whole book. You just go through and you figure out what you'd enjoy to eat yourself and what your family would enjoy as well. So it's super simple. Did you love the recipes? I did. I did. I was just thinking it's probably good as well that you um, provide um, recipes one week at a time. So that's also not so overwhelming. So you can sort of have a little um, trawl through the recipes and, and decide for yourself what, what you like and what you might be able to um, present to the dinner table uh, and my I was just laughing because I was thinking about the zucchini noodles that I've given my teenagers they're like what's this but <laughs> actually they did it was still delicious and it was lovely and it didn't matter that it wasn't pasta so <laughs> yeah um, awesome. 
But yeah, so um, definitely good that there's, um, it's not too overwhelming. It's not as if you've got a book of massive, you know, massive book of recipes. Um, it's good that you provide just some recipes a week at a time and yeah. And what I love is, you know, like I know that a lot of people go to a nutritionist. Uh, if I went to a nutritionist and they gave me a meal plan, I'd be like the worst client because I'm very fussy mm -hmm. about what I do and don't like to eat. So I love that you can just pick out the ones that you like. Or, you know, I already made stir fries. I just made a few little tweaks to yeah. maybe using brown rice instead of noodles or something. So, um, yeah, so, you, you know, a lot of people are already doing most of it and they can just tweak what mm -hmm. they're doing. So just to finish up, what's included, um, we give you a healthy living support guide, which gives you all the information that you need. And every day in the closed Facebook group, we'll put a post up just because a lot of this is around education, around healthy cooking tips or um, mindset and a lot of meal prep and other things that, um, you know, all sit around nutrition. Uh, we also have, um, we've already heard about all the recipes, meal plans and shopping lists. Um, and really it's a community of people on the same journey and you will have a, a coach. So whoever invites you into the program will help you figure out what are your goals? How can we help you? How can we make this fit into your lifestyle? And, you know, we'll act as that kind of accountability partner um, and support person as well. So um, that's a little bit about the program. And um, I'm really grateful to you for jumping on, Nicole. It was a very late notice. So thank you so much for, I know you're still at work. So I really can't thank you enough for sharing um, your experience tonight because I think that's super helpful for other people to actually get to hear from someone who's done the program rather than someone like me. So thank you so much. Anything else you want to add before we wrap it up? Um, no, I think I think that's it. Just um, enjoy it. Don't get too overwhelmed. But um, definitely spend a bit of time on the weekends. I think you mentioned somebody else said the cutting up of uh, vegetables and maybe just sitting with that cup of tea and having a good look over things so you don't feel a bit lost during the week. Um, but yeah, it's it's good. Just got to put a little no, bit I'm of effort. My, yeah. my um, assistant on these calls because you're amazing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no problems at all. I, I've been thinking. living it for the last few weeks. I'm quite happy to chat about it. <laughs> thank you so much. No, you've been I'll let you go so you can go home. But really, really appreciate your time and thank you so much for sharing for everyone. And there's a couple of nice little um, shout outs in the group um, thanking you and appreciating your time. So really oh. grateful and a um, box of citrus fizz are coming your way. Oh, lovely. Thank you. That's great. <laughs> so thank you. Thanks <laughs> so much. Nicole. So for anyone who's on, um, please, you know, reach out to the person who invited you, ask any questions that you've got. And um, if you're interested, we'd love to see you in our next group. Cool. Thanks, everyone. Good night. And thanks again, Nicole. No worries. Bye. Bye.